And this edition of Bonk Talk. We're going to talk about the Feds, Chicago, and Donald Trump. The road to hell is paved with good intentions, okay? Donald Trump wants to send the feds to Chicago because he's signaling them, look, if you can't handle your own problems, we're going to come over there and do it. He knows that everybody else knows sending the feds to Chicago is not going to do any good. Let me explain. The feds are great at undercover, large operation type of things with the DEA, the FBI, all of those. They are great at those types of investigation, and those guys, if they send them to Chicago, they will make a difference to some degree, and they'll make some pinches and undercover operations, and they'll make a little bit of a thing. They'll make a little bit of a thing, right? But... Here is the major, major problem. You could put a Fed soldier on every corner in the city of Chicago and the crime and the shooting is not going to stop. Why do you think that is? Remember I talk about don't co-mingle jobs. That includes police work. Guys in patrol know their district. They know the knuckleheads. They know them all. They know where they live. They know what gang they're affiliated with. They know the beefs they have. They know all of that. Okay? The locals. Them feds on the corner look out. They lo You know what they see? The fucking horizon. They don't see anything going on in them streets because they're not trained to. They don't care to. They're stuck, probably coming from some peaceful ass town, coming to Chicago where it's a fucking shooting gallery. It's 90 degrees out. These soldiers are wearing bulletproof vests, standing on a corn because that's what they're supposed to do. But they're not going to make any difference. The difference has got to come from the coppers in the streets and the politicians to agree with everybody else that rioting, burning places down, the war on black children, the war on, on education for black kids and everybody else for that matter. The cities run wild because you've got no sense of direction. You're up there like a deer with your facing the headlights and the, with the deer because you don't have any decision-making processes and you have no way of stopping it. And your police department, what the hell's going on there with that bug guy up there? I don't know who he is, but he gets up there and says, well, I guess we should wear helmets after getting plummeled for two months in Chicago with rioters, discontents, and Antifa. He finally has an epiphany after two months of getting his ass kicked, 49 guys in one call. Where was the commander? You know what I'd have said? At that point, you got to get the fuck out of there. It's brave of them coppers to make a stand, but it is not, it is not supposed to kill them. Them guys trying to stand there and take that shit when they're unprepared. Their bosses didn't tell them to come to work in a proper uniform with the helmets and everything else. And 40 of them get wounded? Why? Do, look, you know, even in the military, sometimes you got to surrender. You got to fight another day. And you putting all your troops on the line, unprepared, and you could see that wasn't nothing but a goddamn clusterfuck. And it's not the copper's fault. It's the boss's fault for letting them go out. There's no way. I'm just saying. If I was in roll call... And a lieutenant was there, blah, 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 go to there, Buckingham Pound, get plummeled with bricks, bottles, and every other thing they can think of. Oh, don't worry about your helmet, don't worry about your nightstick or shield, don't worry about any of that protective gear that you know that you're going to have to have to protect yourself from these knuckleheads. That shit made me cry. I'm like, what the fuck? And I mean, I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, that shit was so beyond crazy. And the mayor's up there, we don't need federal help. You're right. You're right. You do not need federal help. We need you to stand up in your city, get the police department, citizens, groups together. You simply say, we're taking back this city. 
and it will get around that fast. Don't blame the feds. The feds can't get you out of this one. You got to get you out of this. And you're up there, oh, Donald Trump, I don't need the feds. You don't need the feds. You need to exercise some common sense and use some persuasive skills. Get these bosses all in a room. Tell them to take it back to the city and I want to see your plan in 24 hours. And I want offensive, defensive. I want, I want the, I want everything. I want all of the logistics to me. Manpower presentations, district movements, all this anticipation of movements, anticipation of movements. Did you hear what I said? After two months of getting beat up by the knuckleheads on the street, they could figure out that they need helmets with this gigantic crowd just coming towards them at that statue. How that seriously for you not to tell them to get the fuck out of there is a a dereliction of duty for you not to order your men out at that point. They were unprepared to take a defensive position.